Good evening, Lake Orion. Sammy Termina, blogger of the Dragon's Den, one of the hosts of Between Termina and Son on TV, and the host of OA Now. I'd like to welcome you all to the third annual Lake Orion Girls Basketball Preview Show. I'm here with Dragon Coach Steve Roberts, along with um, Dragon Seniors Alex Carper, Jenna Lewinsky, Blair Stewart, Sarah Voss, and Hannah Hame. Girls, Coach, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Glad of course, to be here. Of course, last season, of course, Ra course Coach, um, this t last season the girls went 12 and 9, 7 and 7 in the white. What's your brief recap of last year's team? Uh, a lot of growth. Mm -hmm. um, you know, expectations always get better every year, and we had a lot of returning players from the previous year, and uh, we were able to uh, double our wins, uh, two and a half times as many wins as we did the previous year. Mm -hmm. um, when you look at the um, when you look at last season, you know, what were some games that were significant for you last year? Well, always when you play your rivals, that's a, a good uh, you know a thing. When we go to Clarkston, even though they were one of the top teams in the state with a top player in the state last year, at Erica Davenport. You know, we have our Oxford games, two games. Uh, one of those games will be our uh, pink out breast cancer awareness game, um, you know, Adams game. Um, but anytime we can compete for a championship, those are all great games. Mm -hmm. Alex, what's your thoughts of last season? Um, it, was a, it was a good run. I think we all, as Rob said, we did grow a lot and all, team, all of our players got better. And um, I was injured some part, but I came back and improved a lot more. Mm -hmm. Jenna? Yeah, I know for me also I was injured for the first half of the season, but when I came back uh, I was really excited to play again and uh, we had a great run while we were playing. Like what co Coach said, we were much improved from the previous season, so it was a good season. What are your thoughts of last season? Uh, kind of what everyone else said, we improved so much from all the seasons before and it definitely is setting us up for a good season this year. Um, Sarah? It was my first year on varsity, so it was really exciting, and I thought all the girls were really good friends outside of the team, so it was really fun to play all together, and we had a really good year, and I'm excited for this year. Mm, and Hannah? Um, I think it was probably one of my most favorite years um, on varsity, because all of us were really close, like Sarah said, and yeah, we grew a lot, and we won together, and we had more camaraderie than like all the other seasons, so that was my favorite. Girls, what was your favorite game of last year? Um, of last year, what was your favorite game? You know, any significant mm. win or like any I know for me, experience? Definitely when we beat Oxford. Oh, <laughs> Oxford, definitely. Mm -hmm. I love playing them. from the previous season. Uh, they had beat us pretty handedly, and it was really exciting to <laughs> beat them this this year. Mm -hmm. Any other? Any um, Alex, your thoughts? No. Uh, Sarah, Sarah you, Hannah, your thoughts? I mm -hmm. I like playing Rochester every year. I don't know. It's always like really intense when we play them, so beating them is always a good feeling. Sarah? I always like Clarkson, even though we lost, but we handled them pretty well last year, I thought, and it's always fun to play Clarkson and see how we do, and hoping we do even better this year. Blair? Uh, what Sarah was saying about Clarkson, I love when we play Clarkson. It's always very competitive, and we play our hardest when we play them. And Alex? Oxford game, because they did beat us pretty bad the year before, but coming back and beating them, Without one of their best players was a good feeling. Rob, do you have any um, any um, thoughts about your favorite game from last year? I I have to agree that uh, I thought that we played well against Clarkston and one of the, well actually the top team in Oakland County and ranked in the state last year. Even though they uh, defeated us, it was a a, a big uh, improvement from when we lost to them in the district the last game of the year, the previous year. Um, West Bloomfield was a big game for us. Uh, that was a Division One uh, game, and uh, our kids came out at home and. We were on fire, and it was it was a great win, and I think that kind of carried over into some other wins. And then you know we did, uh, you know we played Oxford at home. Yes, they had somebody that was out injured, but yes, we had Alex was out injured, and there was you know pretty much even balance, and we battled with them, and we were able to win that game. And uh, you know our our team is always every game, every night want to be competitive. When of course um when you look at last season, you know what I mean, like um. There's a lot of motivation hanging in this season. Um, is there like, is there, when you look at the team from last year, of course you lose um, two very good players in um, Nicole Cryer and Melanie Gagan, you know, um, what is the impact of that loss that you're, I mean, what, of that loss, you know what I mean, what's your thoughts about it last well, year? Well, in, in a year, everybody, you know, graduates and they move on and you, you know, you can't replace them as people, but as players, you, you know, hope that everybody else can step in and fill those roles and, 
I think that we were a young group last year. We were even younger the year before that. And this is the first opportunity that we've had in about five years where I can say that I counted up our years of experience and we have 15 years of varsity experience right with us. We have nine years sitting right in front of us right now that have had experience playing varsity. It takes a while to get a taste of the dose of uh, varsity basketball to keep up with the, the level of play and the speed of the game and uh, you know it's, it's nice to have that experience. Same question to the girls. Um, when you look at the experience of the, um, having to go through the ups and downs, has it made you, has it made you and um, made you like better players getting ready for the year, getting ready for this season, you know, to count on that experience to win you if you're in a tight ball game like you expect to be this season? I mean, like, we all grow, like, we do lose players, and we know that players can get to those roles. Like, we have shooters, we have point guards can fill Nicole and Melanie's spot, but we all just grow, and it's just growing is throughout the season. Like, no matter what game it is, all of us are improving as players and growing as a team. Jenna, same question. Yeah, I agree with Alex. Like, um, losing Mel and uh, Nicole, we, I know we all really like them, and but I think we'll d do really well. Uh, I think there's some a lot of good girls on the team this year that will be able to fill their roles. Kind of going off with Jenna and Alex said, I know that we both we all miss Nicole and Mel, but I know that the people we have on our team this year are definitely going to step up and fill their shoes. Sarah, I agree with what everyone's saying, and I think we're we are growing as each practice as we practice each day, and I think we're just going to be. I think we have the potential to be even better this year. And Hannah. Yeah, same with Sarah. Um, I think that all of us have worked really hard, especially over the summer, and all of us have improved a ton. So I think it's really going to be okay this year. So. Mm -hmm. You know, um, a lot of expectations coming up to this season for you girls. You know what I mean? It's, and, of course, Coach, it's, um, you know, see what happens. Um, all right, now when we come back, um, we're going to talk schedule, the, vi and then the schedule this year for the girls in the new, in the tough, in the new 4 6 division of the OA White here on the third annual Lake Orion Girls Basketball Preview Show on ON TV. The Orion Lighted Parade is a tradition that ushers in the holiday season here in the Orion area. Families line the streets in the village to enjoy this festive event, but it wouldn't be possible without the Holly Jolly Folly. This year's fundraiser is scheduled to take place on Friday, December 5th at Golling Buick GMC, located at 1491 South Lapeer Road. Enjoy live entertainment, a silent auction, a cash bar, and a 50-50 raffle. Food will be provided by Italia Garden. Tickets are $35 per person and are available at Golling Buick GMC. For more information, call the Orion Area Parade Group at 248-802-5521 or visit orionlightedparade.org. Back to the third annual Lake Orion Girls Basketball Preview Show. Of course, I'm Sammy Termina, host of Boy Now, blogger of the Dragons Den, and one of the hosts of Between Termina on ON TV. We have Coach Steve Roberts here. We have Alex Carpenter to my left, but Jenna Zolinski to my um to um to my right. Sorry, and then you have Hannah Heme, Sarah Voss, and um, Blair Stewart. Now we're going to talk about um course of schedule. Of course, um you know the new divisions are out. Of course, it's a four-six division outlook. You have yeah in that in your division this year. Of course, you guys are in the OAA White. You're going to be competing with um with teams like um, Avondale, West Bloomfield, Troy, Bloomfield Hills, Oxford, and Oxford. You know, and West Bloomfield. Um, what's your thoughts on the M four six division? Well, we coaches meeting. We decided to go with four sixes because we felt it was more of a competitive league with six uh, grouping of six. You play everybody in your division twice gives you 10 games. Um, we, <clears throat> you know, two teams that were in the uh, what, uh, red division have come down to merge with uh, uh, four teams that were in the white division last year. So West Bloomfield, Avondale come down and go with um, um, Lake Orion, Oxford, Troy, and Bloomfield to form the sixth team. 
uh, league. Have you ever thought, I mean, like, have you ever suggest maybe, like, what's more harder, playing a 4-6 division or a 3-8 division? <coughs> well, it's, I don't know, it, it's, it's more competitive when you have six within your division, but then you can have more flexibility in your schedule where you can choose, uh, you know, to choose teams to play from other uh, conferences. We play uh, three teams from the uh, Flint Metro Conference this year. Sure, we, we also play um, some cross-division games with uh, Clarkston and Adams that's, that the league sets. And then we play some other Oakland County teams as well. Mm -hmm. of course. And of course, when we look at the, um, of course, when we look at the schedule this year, of course, like your December is very unique. You know, you got to play Brandon to kick off the year. You got Linden. And you got to play Groves and Rochester, you know, that's your December, you know what I mean? Like, when you look at those four games, and I'm going to ask the girls this question too, also, um, what's your thoughts about your December schedule, of course, not leaving home for, for the whole month of December? Well, it's always good to be at home, you know, get some home cooking and play on your own court and get people out there to watch your games and, um, it, you know, it, get the sixth person on the bleachers out there. Um, you know, we're looking obviously to win every game before Christmas. I think that's a reasonable expectation, but we got to take them one at a time. Mm -hmm. Alex, what's your thoughts about the um, schedule? Um, in the December schedule, I'm really excited for all the home games because ha being at home just gives you that advantage and just uh, you feel warmth. I don't know what that means, but like you just feel warm there, <laughs> and it's just exciting. Like when you win, you have the home stands looking at you, and you feel comfortable mm -hmm. exactly. Jenna, same question. Yeah, I'm really excited for all the home games, and I think uh, it's like a good schedule to like start off the season. It's, I don't think any of those games are within our league, so it'll be a good like starting point for us. Blair? I'm very excited <laughs> to have all those home games, because uh, hopefully this year, us being all seniors, we'll have a lot more fans this year, and it's going to be really fun. Sarah? I'm really excited for all the games, too, especially being at home, and I think we can handle all the teams pretty well, so we should look good going into January schedule. And Hannah? I agree with Sarah. I mean, a lot of home games is good for us, and we'll have a lot of fans this year. So, of course, the December games. Of course, when I look at the schedule, when I look at it, you know, the team that does worry me is Linden. When you guys play them, I mean, Linden, of course, you know, they're very scrappy. Um, <laughs> you know, but looking at that December, you know, it's kind of a manageable December. You know what I mean for you guys. But then when you get in the month of January, it starts to toughen up. You know, you guys got to play um, three of your next five would be on the road, of course, and those five, and those three of those games are at Farmington, at Clarkston, you host Adams, and, and then you play, and you host Avondale for your first league game, and then you gotta go to Seaholm. You know, when I look at that, when I look at that stretch, you know what I mean, what do you think about that stretch, Coach? Well, again, you, you wanna play tougher competition to make yourself better, okay? And we go in with the idea that we're gonna win every night, um, but you also have to compete. Um, and, you know, Clarkston lost some players last year. They have Erica Davenport back, one of the outstanding players in the state. I think she was voted most outstanding player in the state last year. And uh, Adams has their, uh, um, help they're, me out in the They're two, players, yeah, they're two big players, Jameson. yes. And, uh, you know, Jameson just signed with the uh, University of Northwestern, Northwestern University, uh, Division One, and they're very good. So um, we'll go in there and battle with them. And, uh, you know, it, it, you got to play up sometimes to make yourself better. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we happen to be fortunate enough to be close to Adams' uh, proximity and uh, Clarkston, and that's what the league so assigned was uh, our uh, crossover games with, with Adams and Clarkston. Mm -hmm. Alex, what's your thoughts about and what's your thoughts about this um, the five game stretch? You know what I mean? Um, they are going to be, as Rob said, really tough games. But we can all grow from those games. Like if we take a loss, we know to play better the next game if it is tougher. We just have to grow from each game to get better and tougher for the next team. Jenna, I agree. It'll it'll be good to play some <coughs> tougher teams. Um, it'll only make us better. Mm -hmm. Blair, we're definitely going to have some tough competition throughout the next five games, but I think they're going to be really good ones and we're going to push ourselves. Mm -hmm. Sarah? It's going to be tough games to win, but I definitely think with all the girls we have on the team, we can pull together and win. So I think we definitely have a chance. And Hannah? Yeah, I definitely think we have a chance. Uh, we're definitely going to have to play as hard as we can, but there's no doubt that we can do it. These next stretch of games, of course, we're going to be heading into um, late January and the early February, of course. Um, the schedule states you guys go to Troy, go to West Bloomfield, host Bloomfield Hills, 
host Lapierre, and then you play Oxford on that on that February fifth. You know what I mean? So, um, what girls? What's your thoughts about that, Coach? What's your thoughts about the about the first um this next stretch of five, of five games? Well, you get into conference play now, or, or we call it conference, but I guess it's division play, and that's when you're playing for you know to to win your division, and it gets more and more. Um, uh, intense. You've had the preparation time, and uh, every every game you have to battle and and get the win. I like kind of like the fact that we're um, stretched out. We got about four or five games there before we go up against Oxford, which probably will be favored to win our division this year. Um, so we have a lot of prep time to get get ready and get the uh, get our improvement out of the way and and keep growing and um, and catch them at home on our uh, pink out game uh, on February the fifth. Mm -hmm. Alex, what's your thoughts about the your, your next five game stretch? Um, those four games before that extra game are going to be tough, and I hope that they will help us get to that extra game and help us get tougher and to be actually beat Oxford. I hope. Jim, um, what was I going to say? <laughs> uh, I think that it'll be really good to play games um, within our conference. They're going to be really competitive. I think we, it'll go like both ways. And it'll be good to see, like, like be at the top of our division. Blair, I know that we're gonna have a lot of tough competition for those next four or five games, but I'm really pumped for the Oxford game, and I'm hoping that we can pull through. Sarah, I think everyone really underestimates us in a way, and I think in February we're gonna be playing really well. I think we're gonna be able to pull out a lot of wins. Hannah, I agree with Sarah. I think everyone doesn't expect us to be as good as we actually will be this year. And then of course you close out. The month of February, of course, you got to play at Avondale, host Troy, host Royal Oak. Of course, Royal Oak's a non-league game. Then you got to host West Bloomfield. Then you close out the year with two road games at Bloomfield Hills and Oxford. Coach, what are your thoughts about that? About those games closing out the year? Well, especially the two road games. Especially, you year. know, I mean, you got to you got to be road warriors. You know, you got to be able to take what you learn and go on the road and, and get the win in their house. Like uh, Alex said, they're going to be comfortable at home, so we got to. You know, go in there and uh, take take away that advantage on all our games away. Um, and, you know, I'm hoping that everything goes right the way we plan and we're one game up going to the Oxford game. Um, either way, that Oxford game, the last game of the season, could decide our division. Alex, your thoughts? Um, I'm excited for those last games because it really pushes us through to finish off the season. I hope that we can finish off the season strong and getting that final win against Oxford. To Jenna? Yeah, the road games will be tough, but um, I mean, you have to have away games, and I'm really excited to play Oxford. Blair? Those last few games are going to be really nice for us, especially us seniors. I know we're going to try really hard and try to get all mm -hmm. those wins. Sarah? I think we're going to finish out the year strong, even though they are road games. I think we know how to handle teams even if they are away, mm -hmm. so I'm really excited for that. And Hannah? Yeah, I'm excited for the games. I mean. Even if it is away, I know we're going to play as hard as we can and together, like for our last time. So. One last, speaking of districts, of course, you host districts this year. You know what I mean, Coach? What's your thoughts about hosting districts this year? Well, I mean, we're the host team. That does give us a little bit of more advantage on our own <laughs> home court. Um, you know, we don't know what the draw is yet, but uh, we do know that probably we'll have the same geographic uh, district as we have in the past with the Adams and it is the Stoney. Same. Uh, Clarkston, Oxford, Anna. Lake Orion, and I'm yeah, missing one. Yeah, Oxford. Oxford. Okay, so those are our six <laughs> groupings, and uh, we'll just, you know, hopefully, we'll, I believe that we can ha we have the biggest uh, opportunity for growth again this year. Alex, um, when we make it to districts and having that home advantage, we will feel comfortable and we will play as hard as we can for our final games coming down. So. Jenna. Yeah, we have a really tough district like always, but um, I'm really excited to play in districts and hopefully we can win. Blair? I have a lot of confidence us, in us when we go to districts and I think that we'll do really well. Sarah? I think a lot of the girls, especially the seniors since there's so many of us, we're all really striving to win in districts because we haven't in the past, I don't know how many years, but I think we're really excited and that'll help us pull out with a win, especially being at home. Hannah's, yeah. Hannah's the only one on our team that has had the experience of being on yes. a, a winning a district game. Winning a district game. Hannah, mm -hmm. you have a lot of experience. <laughs> you know, what do you think about senior year, you know what I mean, hosting the district again? What's your thoughts? I'm really excited. I mean, it's my fourth year. It's my final year to playing basketball, so 
hopefully all of us, I mean, I know we're all so excited and I think we can pump up the team to get us ready for districts. Okay, thank you very much here, ladies and coach. Uh, when we come back, we're gonna talk about the role in the community here on the third annual Lake Orion Girls Basketball Preview Show on Orion Neighborhood Television. I need help. We can't survive without heat and water. Oakland County Community Resource Day, November 19th. I'm homeless. How do I get health insurance? I'm getting evicted. Stay safe this winter. For help with housing, state IDs, eviction, and other critical issues, come to the Oakland County Community Resource Day. There is help. Third annual Lake Orion Girls on um, Basketball Preview Show. Of course, I'm Sammy Termina, blogger of the Dragons Den, host of the Boy Now, and um, one of the hosts of Between Terminas on Orion Neighborhood Television. Of course, I got Steve Roberts here, of course, and then we got the um, five seniors. We got Alex Carpenter, Jenna Lewinsky, Blair Stewart, Sarah Voss, and Hannah Heme. Um, of course, um, this topic here we're going to talk about is going to be the role in the community. Of course, um, you girls are well known for the pink out game. Of course, Coach. Um, what was your, how did you get the pink out game with the idea, with the, how did that come to you? Well, you, when we were in the fall, we used to have a, a, a breast cancer awareness walk um, in October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And then um, as we kind of grew, I get uh, some flyers and things for coaches versus cancer. And I thought, well, why not just do our, um, instead of doing it in the fall, we'll just do it as part of our um, team outreach to, uh, uh, bring awareness to breast cancer and to raise money to uh, combat it. Mm -hmm. um, of course, and also during that, you have a pink out game, of course, um, where the girls get to wear pink, you know what I mean? Like, um, what's your thoughts on the girls wearing well, the pink? I think it's great to bring even more awareness. I mean, I think it excites them and uh, as well. And, uh, you know, we, uh, Mr. Reese was uh, generous enough last year to, uh, with my, uh, request to uh, order uh, reversible um, mesh jerseys that um, can be uh, solid pink or reversible to uh, go around with white and pink trim. So if we go away someplace and somebody's with pink, we can just flip over into the white. And if we're at home, we, we might have to, we'll probably have to wear white again this year. But we, we kind of try to bridge a gap and keep things in perspective a little bit um, with the joint venture between Oxford and Lake Orion um, and, and do the breast cancer game with Orion and Oxford. Have you thought about doing the games with them other opponents at all? No, we have not. Okay. Alex, what's your thoughts about wearing the pink jerseys? Um, I love the pink jerseys. I mean, it does bring out the breast cancer awareness and it's really like, it's symbolizing breast cancer and I know people who have breast cancer, so it means a lot to me wearing those pink jerseys. Jen? Yeah, I think we have all been affected by breast cancer in some way, and I, it's really awesome that we can have a game to honor the people that have been affected and just remember. Blair? I like when we wear the pink jerseys. I know it brings a lot of fans out, and a lot of people support us when we wear them. Sarah? I love wearing the pink jerseys, and I think it supports a great cause, too, at the same time, so it's really good. Anna? Yeah, it's for a great cause, and I mean, it's different because we never get to wear them. We only get to wear them once a year, so everyone gets really excited about it. We get more fans. We get more support. So. Of course, you ha girls also have um, a co-ed league, I think, <coughs> is it like you do on every Saturday. So of course, you have like a youth basketball league um, that benefits the community. What's your, um, what's that, t what's that um, takes? Well, the, the, the thing is, is with the Youth Basketball League, it's a chance for our upper our, uh, high school girls to get involved and be good role models to them. We do a clinic for two weeks in uh, December, and they come out and work with the girls and show them a few things about basketball. And then on the Saturdays, our girls come up and uh, referee and help manage the games. Speaking of refereeing, um, girls, how, how, how is it that you, I mean, like when you're playing, you know, what's the difference from refereeing a game to um, playing in the game? I mean, when you're refing a little league, like you don't pick up every little thing and you get yelled at by parents and then that's just like when we play in our games, 
we don't get the calls and parents are yelling at the referees and you just can't change those plays. Yeah, refing can be kind of stressful sometimes with the parents yelling and other things, but um, I think it kind of makes you realize like you don't want, like you shouldn't be yelling at the refs and you, that's like, you know how it feels so you don't want to do it. I love refing the Lily kids because it, it helps me understand a little bit more like there's only three refs on a court at the time when we play and so you can't see everything, it's a big court and I think it helps me realize that a lot more and when parents yell and when coaches yell, I mean, it's just the heat of the moment, the game, you realize it more when you're actually refing. And Hannah? I think it helps you gain perspective, honestly, like it's not easy being a ref even if it is for little kids, it's <laughs> a lot harder than you would imagine, so I guess it just helps out, I mean it helps the community too, so. Of course, um, also with the fans, you know what I mean, like, um, what's your thoughts? And of course, you know, the fans, I mean, like, um, with fan support, you know what I mean? Like, what's you know, the one message? thing I can say about it a previous year is that this year we were awarded, uh, we were given a banner from our uh, Basketball Coaches Association of Michigan. Uh, our Lake Orion Girls Basketball Program was awarded a, a sportsmanship banner. Um, we get evaluated um, after every game by the uh, officials as well as um, I have get to refer, uh, evaluate the uh, performance of our officials to give them some feedback. So, um, you know, everybody, you're competitive and you get caught up in the moment kind of thing too, but it's also uh, nice to be recognized as uh, it's how you go about disputing a call as opposed to, um, you know, the call itself, so. Okay. All right, girls, um, final questions here on what's your expectations heading into the um, season? Um, Alex first. I have pretty high expectations. I think we can really strive to win a lot of games, and we're all going to grow as players throughout the season and pull out a lot of wins. Jenna? Um, I know one of my goals for this season is to win a district game. I think we were talking about a little bit earlier how we haven't won one in a while, and I think it'd be we really all want to work hard for that. Blair? I'm very excited for this season. I see a lot of potential in all of our girls that we have on varsity, and I'm really excited. Sarah? Like I said before, I think a lot of people and coaches might underestimate us this year, and I think that works to our advantage, and I think we're going to be able to pull out a lot of wins. And Hannah? I'm really excited for this season. I think this is the best we've all gotten along in a long time. We all love each other, and I think we're all going to play amazing together. So. Of course, the family and the chemistry. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. looking forward to the Good year, part. of course. Of course, I'd like to thank you um, girls, along with Coach Steve Roberts, for coming along right. here. Um, Wish you all the best of luck this season, no doubt. Um, of course, um, of course, the community, um, fear the community, um, the girls here would like would like your support, like your support to come out to the to the games and support the, these um, fine young athletes of La of Lady Dragons. Um, enjoy a safe, enjoy a safe night and good night, Lake Orion.